So today, ladies and gentlemen, me, Meat Puppet, I got a good, interesting story to tell you guys. It's about Zachary Levi. If you don't know who this guy is, it's the guy that actually plays Zhezhang. He is gonna come out with a few punches like a boss because he said something like <laughs> any woke actor is not supposed to say. So the whole thing started because Lyndon Moon said, you know, um, do you agree or not if a special company is a real danger to the world? And Zachary Levi said, hardcore agree like a gangster. <laughs> Whoa, I'm strong. Yeah, surprisingly, there seems to be out there with a different opinion. There's something like to say it. And I don't care if you want them to be silenced because I like, we should be able to come to a simple agreement or even if you're right i should be able to have my own opinion even if i'm wrong i should be able to always shut my mouth without trying to find a middle ground or be proven right i mean come on what are you gonna do take his job yeah no <laughs> and somebody was quick to say like yo you've decided to tweet this oh my god here is why you shouldn't have and i'm like oh yeah, back in the day we were very distrustful of any person that says they're going to help us when they're making money. That was the normal thing to do. Everybody thought it was something special. Until somebody decided to be the voice of opinion and the science and the bada bing bada boom. And then suddenly we have to believe somebody even if they keep making mistakes. Even if they make promises that I don't agree with. Because they always fail on these promises. And you're like, well... It's the journey to utopia. I'm like, yeah, while well, you're making money. Oh, that's dope as hell. It actually feels like people were like, why did you have such an opinion? I'm like, I don't know. I just thought I could speak a little. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't want that. Keep it to yourself. Imagine if I thought like that in my family. Ooh, nobody would like me. But suddenly, for that subject only, you are the good person. <laughs> okay. It feels like you don't care what I say. You care more that I say it publicly. It's always, why did you say it? I'm like, why can I not? I feel uncomfortable. I'm supposed to have a voice. Me too. <laughs> this is an extremely disappointing stance for you to take. And I hope you eventually understand why and learn from this. So I'm gonna learn if you cancel me <laughs> now. That's like beating a dog that knows they can bite you one day. That's not love. <laughs> Come on. First DC movie released direct to Fox Nation. Why did you have to make it political? I don't go look at the color of your poop to understand that you're a vegan and be like, oh my god, must be a left wing. And it's kind of weird. He didn't even talk about the Poke Poke. He just said, I just kind of distrust this company. It's like, hey, I distrust McDonald's. Oh my god, you don't even know. It could be the McChicken, it could be the Big Mac, it could be the fries, it could be the milkshake, it could be the ice cream. I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? Maybe I'm against the, the, how they make the meat. Maybe I'm uh, afraid because they're gonna grind the chicken or the baby chicken. I'm like, yo, but no, it's always like you always speak the most negative thing to justify your moral points. Why? In general, if you do a little research, even Google that is your friend has so much document they were not nice. Even now, the amount of times that they have to pay so much money because they lied makes no sense. So if I'm like, hmm, 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 hey, why not? Why can I be hmm? For your own sake, please call Mark Ruffalo and beg him to help you understand that celebrities can be an outspoken critic of corporate America, big para bim bam boom, and even, ooh, specifically, without playing into the daddy daddy propaganda. And I'm like, did he say anything about the daddy daddy propaganda? He didn't say that. Why do you go always in that direction? If somebody has a word of a way of thinking or anything, why do you assume the words? When we cannot assume the words with all these weird things that you do on the other side, snippity snip, snippity snip, I wanna transform. We are not allowed to say anything. Just that moving that I did back there a few seconds ago, I'm already like, oh my God, I'm evil. What? People, it's my medical decision. It's a person's medical decision. Why is it political? It makes no sense. I think the only reason it's so political is because it has so much power over anybody in their private life, on their job, on their bank account. Come on. And that came from two words. Ta-da! Magic. 
Instead of doing that, I prefer to get lesson from Alec Baldwin on how to shoot a gun. Well, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everyone. Because it's so stupid. Why do we have to act in a specific way when it's not normal? It's like, you want me to act like a politician in my private life too? Of course, these people are usually so angry because they live like this. Makes sense if you think about it because they always have to think how their word is going to sound. At least he's got some balls to stick up to him. I mean, sure, the companies don't want to waste millions of millions and millions or a movie because somebody just said something wrong. Afraid of a PR problem? But now imagine your medical way of thinking about yourself and other companies can totally destroy a woke movie, which actually isn't even woke. No, wait, 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 woke destroy itself. But just the idea that somebody has so much power just because somebody thinks different from you and you're going to contact the company and be like, what you're going to do now? Are you going to cancel him? He, he's thinking wrong. It's like, it's a religion. Question in Big Pharma, which was totally fine five years ago, but not okay because Fauci said it's a no-no. <laughs> yeah, simple. Ever since I saw him sitting on a talk show talking about God, this God that, he lost I can actually say that about everybody that doesn't believe in a God, right? But I don't do that out of respect. Most of these people, they want to say this stuff, they say it behind the screen and they have no respect. And usually for some other religion, they do make exception because it's really part of their culture. That's an odd response. It's like you always have a reason to justify your action for people that you don't even believe in. But not for Christianity. No, Christianity is bad because it's dominated by white people. This isn't new for him. He once called Jordan Peterson a deep thinker. I think he's a lost cause. Let me just explain it this way how stupid these people are, okay? They want you to eat the bread, tell you what is in the bread, and tell you that that is delicious, and if you think differently, peanut butter and jelly is delicious. And I wanna eat that. No! Does he not want him to have powers? Trust the science! I'm like, hey, dude, it, uh, Mrs. Who know what you are? Day! It, 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 it's so confusing. If I have to think consistently to make everyone happy, I would have a miserable life. My family is enough work. You are not my family. Well, you need to think about the people that are marginal. Then you do it. I'm making a baby for the planet. There's too much. Well, go adopt one. Go do your part. Why are you always looking at other people to justify something? And when the other people is shining more than you, you're like, well, if you don't shine correctly, I'm gonna call you out. These people are miserable. Of course they wanna do this. Deepest thinkers that I've ever heard break down like human behavior. Uh, and I don't know, just an understanding of all that stuff. And, and I think good, good wisdom along with it is Jordan Peterson. I think that he would be a person that I would trust. I think that guy has a lot of integrity. And that's it. That's it. That is something so wrong. He said, blah, blah, blah. what I found even worse, they were going through the Twitter follows of this guy, right? And it's not like you can just see how many people are assigned to this place, bada beam, bada boom. No, you have to go one by one. Let me check. No, 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 these are people that don't, they, they don't have time. Wait, these are, these people are special. Wait, let me just play it. If you go on Instagram, you can just see immediately who somebody follows. So it's rather easy to just look at the list and you can find everything. But on Twitter, you have to check that one by one. So these people are like, oh, let me check. Oh, let me check. Oh, let me check. Let me give you a good idea why I think they are wasting their life. You cannot search on Instagram. You can just search and see exactly who is following who and easy peasy, la 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 la. But on Twitter, you actually have to check that one by one. So you actually have to go to all these people that you think he might follow that you don't like to justify your existence that I'm gonna write a response and everybody gonna see that my tweet is cool. Thing on the outside, nothing on the inside. The fact that I actually think that people actually care about their life, nobody cares. That you, oh, oh my God, you hurt my feeling. I need to call it out. I need purpose in my life. Nobody cares. I don't understand why you would do something like this. I can find that 
on the tweet. But the fact that you knew the, who he was following, bada beam, bada boom, I'm like, yo, why are you trying to win points on the internet to feel good about yourself? It makes no sense. You're a victim. So I'm happy certain people can critical think, have their own opinion because they know it's a losing battle. And even if you beat one, five appears like an end. So it's a constant battle consistently. It's like they all look the same. Different generations, different races, but <laughs> you all think the same. And supposedly he doubled down. Just one example of what I'm referring to. Sad face. Justice Department announced the largest healthcare fraud settlement in bada beam bada boom. Hmm, that's ominous. So officially, this company had to pay back because they lied a huge amount of money. 2.3 billion dollars. That seems quite a lot. And they're still in business. So something is weird, but okay. It's a few years ago, almost a decade. Secondly, Levi is what happens when you tell incurious men that all they need to do in life is read Jordan Peterson or listen to Joe Rogan, told you, <laughs> to fully be informed about the world. You bring up a lawsuit over a decade old to discredit thousands of people were for life saving. Hoo hoo hoo. Hey man, it might be life saving to you. Okay? True. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I have no idea what I'm talking about. All I'm saying is somebody cheated before and I'm not allowed to even think that something is wrong, especially when I want them to be transparent and the response might have been, well, if I'm trying to be transparent, maybe people will misconstrue the information. I'm like, hmm, that's a good point, but I'm also allowed to have a good point but I'm not allowed to talk about that good point. Why not? I don't know there was any time in my life that the government told me you have to blindly believe. This whole Zachary Levi shit is stupid because nothing he said even remotely implied he's anti hoo hoo. All he did was call out the company for their objectively corrupt business decision and the people berating him for it under the post for his, of his literal, wait, 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 what? of his literal father's death or actual scum. What? And you do a little research and you find out that his father just passed away from cancer. He made the post, he was sad, bada beam, bada boom. Watching somebody die slow is horrible. I've been there not very long ago, not even two years ago. How about stop spreading misinformation? You entitled simple-minded actor totally lost any respect I had for you, which granted wasn't much anyway. No one cares, you Trump supporter. What I find weird is sometimes the most empathetic supposed people that I say that they are in their group thinking, whenever you're not part of the group, they treat you like dogs, disgusting people, as if they are spitting on you. These people can spit on you for having a different opinion in a real life and they would be okay with it and they will cheer their friends and everything. Don't believe me? Go to any Antifa or whatever people that are defending them in an aggressive way. They would support this. They would justify their action in a way. Well, you said this. We, we have so much pain for so long. Uh, the, the spirits are controlling us. We can't. Uh, and I'm like, yo, what the heck is this? I want this movie, movie to do well. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. But if it doesn't, you just prove us right anyway.